To set up your main menu bar, users will need to be given the correct permissions in the admin panel. To do this, go to admin, then menu builder. You will land on the menu list. On the main menu, you will need to click into the permissions options and set this for any users that will need to edit this menu. After this has been set, go into menu builder from the front end and you'll be able to click into the main menu here. You're able to change the menu name and also add a comment to this menu. This might be useful if you have multiple menus and various users editing them. And lastly, you are able to set the depth of the menu. This is the maximum number of layers you would like the menu to have, so folders and subfolders inside those. There are also some legacy options here from before Claramentis 8.2, when publish application was used to create pages. If you do change any of the options here, remember to click on update before moving on. The next tab is to edit the menu items. By clicking here, you'll be able to see a full list of what's included in your menu. To add a new menu item, you just need to click on this button and you'll be able to set up a new item. As Menu Builder was originally a tool for Publish, the first two options of Folder and Page are legacy options, which will soon be deprecated. To create a new item, it is best to use a link. The item title will be how it's displayed on your menu bar. Next, add in the URL of where you want this link to direct to. The description isn't required, but you may want to use this to help any other users setting up or editing these menu links. You can next choose where the item sits in your menu, if it's visible, opens in a new tab, and add in any CSS. When clicking update, this will be added to your menu, as you can see here. These menu items can be ordered and named as you wish. To edit the order, simply click on these arrows to move the item up or down the list. If an item sits on a submenu, you will only be able to move it within that submenu. When clicking on the More Options button, the first option you will be given is to add a submenu item. You can create this in exactly the same way as a menu item, it will just sit underneath the link you have selected. Going back to your menu items, the next option is to set permissions. You are able to set permissions per link according to the group, role or individual. For example, you may have a company-wide HR page and then also an internal HR page. You can make this link only visible to them. Your next options are to delete, change the visibility and view the link. The final tab in Menu Builder is Edit Permissions. This will allow you to set users who are able to edit this menu and its options. Going back into the Menu Builder home screen, you will be able to add new menus from the Add New Menu button. These will be set up and edited in the same way as your main menu.